Hello and welcome to today's video. This is History with Natalie and today we are going to be discussing Mussolini, the Italian dictator. If you like historical and biographical videos, then this is the place for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mussolini was born in July 1883 in northern Italy. His mother was a school teacher and a devout Roman Catholic. His father was a local blacksmith and also an atheist and heavily involved in socialist politics. Mussolini was a rebellious child and at age nine was sent to a Catholic school to have some discipline instilled in him. However, this did not work and he was expelled after having a fight with one of his teachers. In 1901, he managed to qualify as a teacher but would eventually lose his job due to fighting. In the early 1900s, Mussolini moved to Switzerland and worked several manual jobs to support himself. He joined a trade union and went to political rallies where he would antagonise the speaker and start fights. He was arrested and deported back to Italy but would return to Switzerland and kept stirring up trouble at political rallies. He returned to Italy in 1904 and joined the army but was discharged in 1906 because he was a drunk womaniser who would often start fights with other soldiers. After leaving the army, Mussolini worked as a teacher and wrote several articles for socialist newspapers in which he heavily criticised the war with Libya. This led to his arrest and imprisonment for five months. This got the attention of the socialists in Italy and in December 1912 he became editor of the socialist newspaper Avanti. Mussolini was a successful editor, increasing the paper's readership fivefold. However, when the First World War started, he saw it as an anti-socialist movement, but then saw the opportunity for revolution and called on people to go to war. This led to his removal as editor. Mussolini set up his own newspaper called The People of Italy. The paper ran from 1914 until he was ousted from power almost 30 years later. Around this time is when he started his own political party, which would become the Fascist Party. Mussolini was called into the army in 1915 and a grenade exploded in front of him. He was badly injured and needed several operations. Mussolini's party entered into the elections, but was unsuccessful at this time. After this, he would often beat up his opponents, especially the socialists. The next elections were more successful and Mussolini gained a seat in the Chamber of Deputies. Now Mussolini did an about-face on his core principles and became pro-church and pro-monarchy. He gained a reputation as someone who could take control. He renamed his party as a National Fascist Party. Public opinion of him grew, especially when he broke up the socialist strikes. He then after this demanded power be given to him or he would take it by force. This didn't happen so Mussolini rallied his followers. The PM urged the king to quash the rebellion with the army. First the king agreed but overturned this as he thought it would lead to a civil war. The PM then resigned. Mussolini's troops now were on their way to Rome. Mussolini would stop on the way for photo ops, but would take the train the rest of the way. The king who secretly liked Mussolini gave him the PM role. Eight weeks later, Mussolini set up the Fascist Grand Council. This acted as a conduit between the Fascist Party and the government. And all of the members of the Fascist Grand Council were handpicked by Mussolini himself. In 1923, the council passed a law that ensured the electoral royal system was rigged in their favour. They won by a majority. However, after his black shirts openly assassinated the socialist leader, there was a public outcry calling for his removal. Mussolini acted innocent of this and the king refused to oust him. Mussolini made modest improvements to the Italian economy, but these were soon wiped out by the Great Depression. 
Opposition parties were now banned and Mussolini was only answerable to the king. Mussolini invaded Ethiopia in 1935. This was a devastating occupation in which a substantial part of the population were committed to death. The leader of Ethiopia fled to Britain and petitioned the UN. Mussolini was infuriated by this and so joined with Hitler. They made the Pact of Steel which said that they would come to each other's aid in times of war. Four months later, Germany invaded Poland. When this happened, Mussolini informed Parliament that he would not uphold his side of the agreement as Germany had signed a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union which violated their agreement. But really, he had no confidence in Italy's readiness for war. He was correct as Italy was heavily defeated and Hitler had to come to their rescue. By 1942, Sicily was invaded and it was clear Italy was fighting a losing battle. There was now a state of emergency and the people were starving and they marched on Rome. The king removed him from office and imprisoned him in the Italian Alps. The new PM, Pietro Badoglio, signed an armistice with the Allies. This angered Hitler and he invaded Italy. The king and the PM fled and Hitler freed Mussolini. Mussolini was put in as a puppet leader of the Italian Socialist Republic, but Mussolini wasn't interested and escaped to Switzerland in April of 1945. He was taken into custody by the communists, then shot with his mistress the next day. His body was dumped in the centre of Milan where it was attacked by local crowds. His body was later buried in an unmarked grave. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we welcome any comments to help improve future videos.